Christian, what's up, man? Um, what's after up? you, if you got a chance to look at the tape a little bit, um, what do you think went wrong those last couple of drives uh, in the fourth quarter? Um, the biggest thing is, uh, you know, in those situations, we got to be, you know, a little more locked in, a little more focused. Uh, you know, when we got to have it, those situations where you must have it. I felt like, you know, other than maybe a drive or a few plays here throughout the game, you know, we were pretty solid. Uh, but just, you know, when those moments are a little more, a little, are a little bigger in the game and those moments where you need to be a little more locked in, uh, that's definitely important, uh, you know, just so we can get, you know, you need to be ready to play your best ball in those situations. Uh, if I follow there, um, I know Bradley mentioned in the locker room last night that he felt like maybe you guys took your foot off the gas a little bit, you know, up two scores. Did you feel that from, you know, the, that side of the ball? Um, I mean, well, obviously, you know, it's a tough situation giving up that many points that late in the game. You know, like when I say, you know, we're pretty solid, but we got to be able to have a foot on your throat mentality. Uh, you know, and get the job done, finish it out. It's never, never done, and be you know ready to play a full sixty-minute ball game. Um, you know, of good football. Thank you, Kirk. I think you're muted there. All right, hey Christian, I, I wanted to get your thoughts on the pass rush. Uh, we saw that um, there was one sack. I know you guys are without Jalen Phillips and and uh, Jerome Baker. What what did you think? I think you had eight quarterback hits, if I'm not mistaken. Did you think that the pass rush was effective all game? And what what did you think about the pass rush on Tennessee's final two possessions? Yeah, I thought you know we were doing a decent job. You know, there you know watching the tape, there's things you could obviously clean up and make it better. Uh, and it's like that every game, whether you have one sack or five sacks. Uh, you know, you, there's always more opportunities out there and things you can clean up. Uh, but uh, I thought, you know, we were active all game. We were getting that back there, you know, pressed. We had pressure in his face and different things like that. They did a good job of mixing things up with a few play actions or getting the ball out quick and, you know, uh, a lot of different things. But I thought we were pretty solid there. Uh, and again, kind of like I talked earlier, just when the moments get a little bigger in the game, you know, you just got to be a little better. Um, I don't think it was necessarily, you know, bad or anything, just you know, just continuing on the trend of, you know, when those moments are bigger, we got to be at our best. And a follow-up, if I can, the run defense was was really, really strong. You guys were very effective against Derrick Henry. How do you how do you view the run defense last night? Yeah, it was solid. Um, you know, it's still some things, you know, we can be better at. Like, every play wasn't perfect, but definitely uh, solid. Uh, and, you know, just continue to build on it moving forward. Thanks. Adam? Uh, hey, Christian, we saw on Hard Knocks that uh, Coach McDaniel made a big emphasis about not repeating last December, not letting one win and lost Cascade into three, four, and five. Uh, as a leader, uh, what's your role in making sure that doesn't happen? Yeah, well, biggest thing is, you know, 24-hour uh, role in the NFL. We just all got to look in the mirror and, you know, be grown men about this and about what happened last night, take it in the chin. And the most important thing is, uh, is beating the Jets now. Uh, you know, we got to turn the page really fast. Uh, and even faster now with a short week. Uh, so the longer we sit and think about this one, uh, even though it was a tough loss, you know, that that's not going to do anything for anybody. So the next, the most important thing now is, is today, focusing on getting better today, watching the tape, doing what we need to do, uh, learning from it so that we can have a good week on a short week.